Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, the big wind event that we have been discussing all week long has arrived today with winds very strong this morning. We're going to continue to see some potentially damaging winds throughout the day today, especially into the afternoon. Currently, uh, we've seen a peak wind gust here at Wallops at 59 miles per hour, and we could even see higher winds as we go into the afternoon today. Taking a look at yesterday's conditions, uh, much nicer conditions out there yesterday with mild temperatures throughout the region, 57 degrees, the daytime high here at Wallops overnight last night falling to 44 degrees. You can see similar readings throughout the region. Over the last 24 hours, everybody picking up at least some precipitation from the uh, frontal boundary that moved through yesterday. Dover picking up the most, over half an inch of rain. Wallops picking up 13 hundredths of an inch over the last 24 hours. As of 9 a.m., 41 degrees here at uh, the Wild Spike facility. We were seeing a little bit of snow uh, mixing in with the uh, rain shower activity that we saw at 9 a.m. Looking at our uh, sounding information from this morning's balloon release, uh, pretty impressive that Medop Skies were able to get this off this morning, so uh, major props to them for being able to fight the winds as they released the balloon this morning. As you can see, northwesterly winds at 1,000 feet at 44 knots. And as you go up in height, uh, pretty similar readings all the way up to 25,000 feet where we see our max wind at 74 knots with a westerly wind. That freezing level was at 3,000 feet. Taking a look at our infrared satellite picture this morning, you can see uh, this large massive storm really developing quickly off the northeast coast this morning. It's going to slowly begin to uh, drift off to the east over the course of the next day, but or two, and it's going to be uh, slow to move as it's going to be blocked by a uh, upper level ridge to the north. And therefore, we're going to continue to see windy conditions throughout the weekend. Uh, again, the biggest uh, wind threat we will have will be uh, through the afternoon hours today as those winds will gradually start to subside later this evening into the day tomorrow. But windy conditions will be expected even into tomorrow as we could see potential wind gusts up to around 40 miles per hour during the morning hours of Saturday. Looking at the radar, we've got a few showers off to our north. We saw some of those showers make their way in to the Wallace region uh, over the course of the last couple of hours and we'll continue to see a slight chance of some rain shower activity uh, through about 12 o'clock and then we'll see a little break in the action with uh, some dry conditions working their way back into the region after 12 o'clock this afternoon. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see this large area of low pressure, the tightly packed isobars indicating the very strong winds uh, that we are going to continue to see today. We're going to see uh, very strong easterly winds into the New England area today where they'll see a pretty good dose of flooding up in that area. For the coastal sections of Delmarva, we'll be fortunate that we'll see our winds out of a northwesterly direction limiting the uh, flooding potential for us along the Atlantic coastal sections. What we will see is a bigger threat for flooding along the bay side of the Delmarva Peninsula uh, throughout the next couple of days as that northwesterly wind really piles up the water in the bay and uh, like Saxis, Cambridge areas could see some uh, higher than normal uh, flood waters uh, as we go through the uh, next couple of days as their storm surge will be above uh, another foot or two above normal uh, throughout the next couple of days. But for us, not looking at a big flooding uh, risk here at Wallops, we'll likely just see the uh, winds as the major factor from this storm over the course of the next several hours. Looking at this evening, that storm will slowly begin to uh, drift off to the east a few light rain showers, maybe a little bit of snow mixing in once again are possible late this evening, uh, but not anything to be concerned with. No accumulation expected from those showers as they work their way through during the evening hours. Overnight tonight, we'll start to slowly see this storm make a little progress toward the east, and as a result, we'll start to see our winds slowly begin to die out as well. Still going to be pretty gusty overnight tonight and into the uh, day on Saturday, but after about four or five o'clock this afternoon, we should see those winds uh, steady out and begin to slowly uh, die down as we go into the evening and overnight hours tonight. By tomorrow morning, we'll see mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies. We'll see a little sunshine tomorrow peek through those clouds. It'll still be gusty out there with peak winds uh, around 40 miles per hour during the morning hours, maybe 35 miles per hour during the afternoon. And as we go into the evening hours of Saturday 
and into Sunday we'll see things uh, gradually begin to improve as far as the winds are concerned, uh, only gusting to about 25 to 30 miles per hour during the day on Sunday. Taking a look at our forecast in a little bit more detail over the next 24 hours, again, could see a few light rain showers or snow showers over the next hour or two before we see a drying period this afternoon uh, before a return to the uh, chance of some light rain and snow showers once again this evening. But again, nothing significant as far as precipitation is concerned and it will all be light and not cause any uh, travel headaches as far as uh, frozen precipitation. Our big concern for today will be the high winds that are already impacting the area and will continue to impact the area through the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight. Looking at our max winds to occur between 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock this afternoon uh, with a max gust of 55 knots that will equal out to about 63 miles per hour. That's what our uh, thinking is currently for our peak winds which will be about 5 miles per hour over what we currently have seen this morning. So uh, still more to come as far as the uh, high potentially damaging winds are concerned as we go through the day today. As you can see this evening, those winds will begin to die down a bit as you go into the evening hours after 8 o'clock tonight through midnight. You could still see a uh, gust up to 50 knots at times, but uh, that wind will be on the decrease as we go into the evening hours. And by midnight, uh, likely seeing the max gust up around 40 knots uh, as we go into the overnight hours. Looking at our forecast for Saturday and Sunday, looking at another windy day for us, but not quite as bad as what we've had today. Max gusts up around 35 to 40 miles per hour. We'll see a daytime high of 49. Saturday evening, those winds subside even more down to about 35 miles per hour for your peak wind gusts for Saturday night. And then for Sunday, we'll just see some breezy conditions with winds maxing out at around 25 to 30 miles per hour. Looking at the next seven days as we go uh, through the weekend, again, we'll see improving conditions uh, for Saturday and Sunday. Even though it will be still pr a pretty windy day for us on Saturday, things will be improving with those winds uh, gradually dying throughout the day on Saturday and especially on Sunday. We'll see daytime highs in the upper 40s. And then as we go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, high temperatures generally running in the low to mid 50s with our next uh, system bringing the chance of rain late Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. So again, stay safe out there. Again, our max, our max winds looking to be between 60 and 65 miles per hour, likely occurring in the early to mid afternoon hours today. Uh, that should be our main threat. We'll definitely see a lot of erosion along the coast, but uh, as far as coastal flooding goes, looks like a bigger problem on the bay side of the Delmarva Peninsula than what we'll see along the Atlantic coastal sections. That'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again Monday morning for a look at your forecast at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.